one from two. I was in Accra Academy. And bleu, bleu. And every every morning there's what we call morning devotion in the halls. Accra Academy, we have halls. We don't have houses. We have halls. And the seniors form four, they were supposed to do it. But they don't do it. So when it's time for devotion, I'll just pick my Bible from two. Now go and stand there and then just read and, and share something. So it's like there was, there was a desire. I mean, I've never dreamt I'll be a pastor. I've never dreamt I'll be a, even working in the church as a full-time person. There was just a desire that was there. That I could just pick my Bible, read, and be able to say something. So you are called based on the desire that you have. Amen? Some of us, when we are children, you are playing Kofi and Ama, and then like Kofi and Ama, they are doing wedding. You are the pastor officiating the wedding, the Kofi and Ama wedding. You are the pastor officiating. It's a, it's, it's a desire. <laughs> Amen? They are doing drama in school, and you are always like some good person or some priest. It's a desire. Hallelujah. It's your call. Amen? I say it's your call. First Timothy chapter 3 verse 1. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. Hallelujah. I like how he put it. He say what? He desireth a good work. Yes. Desire the office of a bishop. You are desiring a good work. Not a good thing or a good office, but a good work. Because the office, not a good title. Because the office of a bishop is a, it's work. Okay. Amen? In my church, when you are made a bishop, hey, like somebody will say, woe unto you. Because work, you are giving more responsibilities. It's not a title. Hallelujah. It's not what? A title. But it's a desire that you have. Say, if any man, if you desire the work, the office of a bishop, you are desiring a good work. And I believe that many of our church members have some desire in them. That's why they even come to listen to you every Sunday. Yeah. That's why they come to listen to you every Sunday. There's some desire inside of people. And you and I will have to change that desire and direct that desire. Everybody has a desire. Everybody has a desire. A desire for something. And you, God has raised us to turn that desire into good works. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Are we going to raise people in our churches? Are we going to tell them many are called? I say are we going to tell them many are called? Are we going to tell them many are called? And if you are here, you are a young person, I'm announcing to you that the fact that you have come to this conference, it means that you are called. I say you are called. I say you are called. You are called. You are called. You go to our first love churches and children, children, they are running the church. Powerful. My, my Saturday service is now for the QCC, I call them QCC, Kudesh Campus Church. Yeah, I don't go there. They are running it. Yes. They are always on Facebook, you can watch them. Saturday evening, they are running the church. They are running the church. But they have something. You know, one day I was there in my house when my son came from the US early and I was there Saturday. They was going up and down. It came from time. He said they were going for Reza. It came. They said they were going for service. I said, hey. Then I realized that I've grown because I was, I was tired. I'd gone for BC. I've come. I was tired. I was relaxing and checking my notes for the following day. And my son has been running for morning. Yes, that is good. Oh, it says it's going to call some people here for, for service. Up and down, I say, wow. They have energy. And there are people in your church with energy. If we don't rise up, if we don't rise up to direct them, they will leave our churches. We left our parents' churches. I was a Presbyterian. I was confirmed a Presbyterian. We left our parents' churches because we thought it was boring. And went to do our own thing. And if we don't rise up to lift the young ones and to convince them that they are called and to get them to do the work of God, they will leave our churches and find somewhere else. 
I said they will leave our churches and find somewhere else. I'm telling you. It's not a prophecy. It is it's, it's, to come to pass. Because you and I, if I do statistics right now, many of us were in Anglican, Presby, um, what else? When Methodist, yes, we're in various churches. True or false? True or false? How many of you were confirmed in, in uh, Presby? Confirmation. Secondary school, you were white, white. They will do confirmation. Is that the case? I did so, uh, form four. Yes, look at the hands. Only Presby. If I go to Methodist, I go to uh, Catholic, I go to other churches. And it's because we're in the church and we're not seeing anything for us. And they started a young people's guild or something. I don't know what it's for. But then we found water fights its level. And I'm saying that if you don't rise up to raise the young in your church and to let them know that they are called, to give them opportunity in the church, if you like start a Saturday church and allow the young people to handle it, you will see the excitement there. If we don't do that, very soon, you'll see them finding somewhere else to go. You'll find somewhere else to go. You'll find somewhere else to go. So God has brought us to this conference to equip us, to make us great shepherds, to know that the people that we are leading, they are people who God has chosen and God has ordained that they, together with us, can go and bring forth fruits. And those fruits will remain. And whatsoever he has the Father in his name, he will do unto us. Shall we rise on our feet? Shall we rise on our feet? Just lift your hands and just open your mouth and begin to pray. The Bible says that we should not be just hearers oh, of the word, yes. but we should be doers of the word. Doers of the word. Pray that what you have heard today Jesus. will make a difference from today Jesus. in your life. Yes. What you have heard from the morning, yes. from Bishop Ogo in the morning and from yes. right now, it will make a difference in your life. Yes. I said it will make a difference yes. in your life. Yes. It will make a difference in your life. Yes. That the word has fallen on good ground house. Yes. That it shall bring forth fruits. That from today, you will begin to raise people in your church. Yes. From today, you will begin to say to your congregations that they are called. You begin to say to the young ones, that they are called. Yes. You begin to say to the rich ones yes. that they are called. Yes. You begin to say to the poor ones that they are called. Yes. You begin to say to the students that they are called. Yes. You begin to say to the bank manager that he is called. You begin to say to the teacher that he is called. You begin to say to the trainer that he is called. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your word. Oh, yes. That many are called. Thank you, that Lord, this word has fallen on good ground hearts. Oh, yes. That we are living this place equipped. Amen. Knowing that the people that we are leading, you have not called only us. No. You have called our whole congregation. You have called many people, large people. You have called the majority. Yes. We thank you. And we give you the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Shall we receive Bishop Ogo? Please clap your hands. A voice of experience. You see, this is a man who has not just read the Bible and has brought us Greek meanings, Hebrew meanings, concordance. This is a man who is working. Yeah. He's working. Clap your hands again. I want to repeat what he has said already that it is a mistake. You see, as you, you see, like the woman 
who was caught in adultery. The Bible says that she was caught in the very act. It means she was actually having sex. Actively on it. When somebody opened the door and realized that the man either on her or under her was not her husband. Some of us here are actively sinning now. By being here alone, you are actively, you have been caught in the act. That you are here, like, as you are standing, literally standing here now, alone, or you brought the girl who holds your towel and your water. So, quickly mobilize your members. Call Briar and Francis Esuman to organize, the, call the members, put them on a bus. They should be here by 5 p.m. And stay here for the week. Your church will be a different church. You are actively making a mistake. Actively sinning now. 